So today I'm talking about a P0010 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0010 code? Well, it's an A camshaft position actuator circuit open bank one. And what does this mean? Well, an engine can have different components that help time the engine. There could be a timing chain or a timing belt. There can also be variable valve timing and things like this. And the vehicle's computer is seeing a problem inside of this. And so it's got to be troubleshooted, no why. And if you have a V6 or V8 engine, bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you find the number one cylinder, that side is going to be bank one, and then the opposite of that is going to be bank two. If you have a four-cylinder engine, it wouldn't matter because you only have one bank. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0010 code? Well, the first thing to go and check is going to be your oil. Be sure it's not really low or really dirty or anything like this because oil flows through the variable valve timing components. And if it's really low or if it's really dirty, it can cause issues with those components. So the first thing to do is check your engine oil level. And the next thing that could cause this problem is that there's some kind of issue going on in the variable valve timing components. And this is going to include solenoids. These just slide in and out. There's also an actuator, sometimes called a phaser. And this is what the timing chain is going to be riding on. The most common component to fail inside the variable valve timing is going to be these solenoids. This is the main component that gets clogged up with old dirty engine oil. Sometimes there's even little screens that help filter out the oil. And these also can become clogged up. There'll be a wiring connection going to the solenoid that can also cause problems. You basically, keep in mind, anything wrong with the wiring, open, short, bad connection, can cause the same problem as a bad solenoid. The next thing that could cause this problem is going to be a bad timing chain or timing belt. Basically, there's timing marks that all need to line up. And if all of these timing marks don't line up, then the belt or the timing chain is slipped a notch and is throwing everything off. A more common cause is like this chain tensioner is not working well, it's not holding the chain or the belt in place properly, and so it's kind of loose, and so all those marks might line up, but when the engine's running, it's just kind of throwing everything off because it's kind of loose. A very old timing chain or timing belt can also do the same thing. When it's really old, it could stretch out or become loose. And then when the engine's running, it's just throwing off the timing just a little bit. And it can cause a P0010 code. So you can't go and check the timing belt chain or tensioner. And be sure it's holding everything in place correctly. And if you check everything and all that looks good, and that engine has really high miles, and that belt or that timing chain has never been replaced, it is possible that it's really stretched out and just become loose, and it's just throwing everything off. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a P0010 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.